Assalamu alaikum and welcome to this video. In this video, I will show you how you can convert an image to video in Flutter. And in the previous video, I will show you how you can save image on mobile storage. And also we see that how we can save an image with filters and frames. So in the previous video, we apply filters on image and then we apply frames on the background of the image and then save to the gallery. So now in this video, we have started a new work which is related to video editor app or video making app. Okay. So now I make some changing in this app and you will see and I click on this button you will see we have two buttons but in the last video we create a button here for gallery and here for camera so when user click on this gallery button user can select images from the gallery and when user click on this camera button you, uh, a camera is opened and user can take a photo from the camera and then apply filters okay so i make some changes here we have two buttons but this button is for video project and for and this button is for photo editor and when user click on this button gallery is open and when user click long click on this button then camera is open okay so i show code for this first so you will see here this is the previous video code and first i make some changes i write photo editor here and you will see i write on press and then pass the gallery and i write on press method and inside this method i pass the source which is camera Okay, so now when user click on this button, then gallery is open, and when user long press on the on the button, then the image source is camera. And after that, uh, this page is open, and you will see here is the frames, and you will see here are some filters. So when user click on these filters. The filter is applied on the image and when user click on some frame, then frame is appear on the background. And then user click on this save button and the image is saved in the gallery. So here is the image. And you will see here is the gallery. And you will see the image is saved. Okay, so this is the image with background and with filter. So this is previous video's code. And now let's move to the video. And in this video, I will show you how you can convert an image into the video and how you can add a voice or song to that video. So let's begin today's video code first you have to write some libraries so open this project here open this file and write these two libraries here okay and also you have to open this manifest and you have to write these two permissions in the manifest okay so now let's op again select this project and open this file so basically i create a new dot file okay and write the code for video here uh, now let's understand this code i create a button on this screen 
and then write a text which is convert image to video and then make this clickable and when user click on this I call a function which is convert image to video okay so this is the function here first I store the st uh, download folder path inside this base path okay so inside this base path we we have a path of download folders which is in mobile okay and after that I give the path of audio and save inside this audio underscore path so I have audio which is inside this you will see when I open this my file you have a folder of downloads and inside uh, this folder I have an audio which is this song okay so I simply download this song from the Google and I rename that uh, name to audio dot mp3 okay so you just long click on this and you will see you have this more options and you can rename this song okay so now uh, let's delete this okay so this is the audio and I store this audio inside this variable okay so this is audio path and you will see I write this base path which is the path of download folders and inside download folders we have this audio so we add both to and store inside this audio path after that you have to tell the image you want to convert into video okay so i write this image name which is whose extension is png and you will see this image is also stored inside this download folders so that's why i concatenate this base path with this image name and store inside image path and you will see we have this image inside my download folders so this is the image basically okay and after that you have to write the path on which your video is saved so I save this video to download folders and give the name which is output 5.mp4 okay so basically I store this video to download folders and give the name you will write any name here okay you will give my so okay so after that you have to create an object of flutter fft PEG and I write an object here and after that I make a small condition so if user granted the per, uh, permission then we have to read the image and audio from the phone downloads and if user did not give permission then we open the settings okay so if user give the permission of reading these these two files and writing this song to the mobile storage then this code is run okay and now you will see first I make a whole command and store inside this command to execute variable and then I execute this command by using this code so first you have to see I provide the audio path okay this i is for the input and i i 
pass this audio and this is the audio which is play in this video and then after that i pass the image okay and inside this image path you will see the image is stored and this image is coming from the mobile download storage and after that i write the output variable so this flutter ffmpeg simply convert this image to this to video and uh, play this song and then store the whole result inside this variable okay and you will see inside this variable we have this whole path so basically this command take this image take this music and convert both to the audio, uh, to the video and name that video to my song dot mp4 and after that i simply execute this command and pass this command variable to this flutter ffm peg and after that i simply create a then and if we have any error which is then we store that error inside this variable and then print that error okay so if we have any error then this error show inside this print variable and after that you will see i create this else condition so if user deny the permission then we open the app setting okay so now let's run this code Okay, so now the code is run and you will see I click on this and you have a button which is convert image to video and I press this button and you will see it's creating the video. and now let's this code is completed and it returns the zero and now open the downloads folder and you will see here my file and you will see my song dot mp4 and if i play this video you will see the video is playing with song okay so in the in the next video I will show you how you can use multiple images and then create a video and after that how we can save this video and furthermore I hope you like this video and if you need the code of this video see the description box and if you want to create any project in Flutter so you have to send me email on my gmail and i hope you like this video please like comment and subscribe and share with your friends see you soon allah hafiz